have three water alternatives for you today because pure filtered water is amazing for our bodies and when we're on a health kick, we absolutely need water and a good bit of it, right? But if we're honest, it can get boring. Okay, so I've got three alternatives for me. Do me a favor as you're coming in. First of all, hey Robin and Tina and Shiloh, I see you. Thank you for coming in. Let me know you hear me okay. Number two, I would like for you to drop into the comments, what is your favorite non-water beverage? Tea, coffee, soda, it's okay, we can handle it. Whatever it is, what is your favorite non-water beverage? Just drop that into the comments as you're coming in. And I'm gonna tell you about three different ones. One is more of a detox, one I call my double, um, my double green power drink. Great, thank you so much, Shiloh. My double green power drink and another one is so quick and easy. It's just like, it's just a fun alternative. So I'm gonna give you three different ones kind of depending on what on what you're, you're most interested in and probably you're going to love all of these. I, I have a feeling. Okay, coffee, yes, coffee. <laughs> I'm seeing coffee, coffee. I know, I love coffee too. But yes, please do as you're coming, coffee. There's another coffee, I love it, okay. Your favorite non-water beverage, drop it in the comments. Okay, so the very first one we're gonna go over is actually, um, this is a detox drink that I posted a couple weeks ago, but I wanted to show you how quick and easy this was to make up because this is loaded with some really, really key ingredients. Stick with me because I'm going to say the words apple cider vinegar, and as soon as I say that, some of you just are like, I'm out. And that's why I'm gonna do this one first. You do not have to put ACV in this one. So keep that in mind if you're like, I can't do it because some people just can't. They don't tolerate it well, or they just don't like the taste. But this one is gonna end up tasting um, pretty stinking good. But the benefits are great, and I wanna go over some benefits. First of all, with apple cider vinegar coffee, if it's a cold beverage, iced coffee, okay? Very good. Um, so you can do this, um, okay, sorry, apple cider vinegar. So with apple cider vinegar, because of the fermentation process, there is just so many incredible health benefits to ACV. It helps to decrease cholesterol, it helps to stabilize your blood sugar. Um, it is because it also helps with um, lymph drainage, it's also a great detox. So your ACV, if you, can, if you can tolerate it, and if you're okay with the taste, and we can doctor it up a little bit, which we're about to do, it has some great, great benefits, okay? So, first of all, I have one cup of water, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of lemon juice, I have a pinch, and I do mean a pinch, of cayenne pepper. If you like more of a kick and if you can take it, go for it. That's all I can take. Um, and then I have a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then I have a teaspoon of ginger. So there's a couple ways that you can make this. You can actually take everything I just told you and boil it on, um, on the stove or simmer it just a little bit, and actually instead of ground cinnamon, you may wanna do a cinnamon stick. You may want to do grated ginger, and then you would just simmer it for a little while, and then you would strain it, and then you could have it hot. But I'm talking refreshing today, so we're talking cold, okay? So this is cold water, and then all my other ingredients. So I like to put it in a mason jar, and then you can just shake it up and drink that. So that may look like a lot. That's about a cup's worth or a little bit more because of some of the things that I put in there but this is so great to be able to sip on um, either throughout the day or just to have it in place of water. And again, it's a good detox and that lemon also has great detoxification benefits. So lemon is awesome and that wasn't a ton of lemon to, to add to it either. Okay, so that is, oh, okay. And some of you may have been cringing. Um, yes, you can add something sweet to it. So a little bit of honey to taste. Um, you love lime or lemon. Okay, we're gonna get to that. Don't jump ahead of me, Shiloh. You're, you're, you're ruining my surprise. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I am going there though in a moment. Okay, so a little bit of honey to taste is great. Or if you don't want the honey, I do love um, these drops, these sweet drops from Sweet Leaf. It's a stevia. If you're averse to stevia and you've never tried this brand, you may wanna give it a try. A couple drops, it, a little goes a long way with this, but this is my sweetener of choice in most things. But with this particular drink, honey goes really well. Okay, 
So that's that one, and that is a detox. So I'm going to set that aside. That's our first one. Let's move on to our second one. Our second one is what I call my double green power drink. I call it a double green because it has two forms of green in it. The first green is green tea, green tea. So again, this can be a hot beverage or it can be cold. I like cold for this particular beverage. So I went ahead and I brewed. I did two tea bags of decaf green tea. That way if I have it later on in the day, it doesn't keep me up. But green tea has lots of antioxidants and so many great benefits. Ladies, when you hear antioxidants, just think beauty because antioxidants are so good for so much of your body, but it's really good for your skin as well, okay? So green tea, this is about, this is about a cup and a half worth. So I did two tea bags, so I did a little bit more because this is something I would sip on. I wouldn't just down it, right? I would sip on this. So I have my green tea, my second green, y'all know I love Organifi greens, so I would put in a scoop full of this with Organifi. So um, these greens help to decrease st uh, stress. They have adaptogenic herbs. They help to decrease cravings. Um, also safe for weight loss and it helps to enhance weight loss. I just love these greens. They're just, they're yummy. It does have spearmint in it, so it's a little bit of a minty flavor. So if you're averse to mint, you may not like this. I love it, and it's just a light minty flavor. So I like this a whole lot. I have the link for 15% off if you want in the description if you're interested. Um, but if you have another green you want to put in there, you can. But this isn't just the greens. It's also the adaptogenic herbs and everything that goes with it. It also has lemon in it, um, and we talked about the benefits of lemon a minute ago. And then I'm going to take just a pinch of salt for added minerals. Now, I use real salt. I love the mineral content of real salt. That's the actual brand name. It's called real salt. So Celtic sea salt's great. Pink Himalayan salt is great. But real salt, it's just my absolute favorite. So don't forget as you're coming in, if you're coming in late, I want to know your favorite non-water beverage. A lot of people have said coffee. I think I've only seen one other answer other than coffee, but I haven't seen every answer. So be sure and drop that in. And that's it. Now, if you like it a little bit sweeter, again, you could do honey, honey in a colder beverage for me. I just prefer stevia. So I would do maybe two or three drops of stevia in this. Honestly, the Organifi is sweet enough for me. It has a little bit of a sweetness there, but a few drops of stevia isn't bad either. And of course, you see that this is something that could settle. So I like to do it in a mason jar. And I'll shake it right now, but then if it's something that I want to sip on throughout the day, it's so easy to take it out of the refrigerator and just shake it up in a mason jar and then sip it instead of just having it sit in a glass of water. So always putting it in something to sip is great. So that is our second one. That is our double green power drink made with green tea, green Organifi green juice, a uh, little pinch of real salt, my favorite salt, for added minerals, and a little bit of stevia or your sweetener of choice, okay? All right, so that's two down. Our last one that I'm going to tell you about, Shiloh tried to um, ruin the surprise here. What I, I'm kidding, Shiloh. What I love about this one is it is, it's so fast and easy, but I'm going to give a couple caveats to this. So, yes, sparkling mineral water is all the rage. We're going to talk about what to add to this. So I'm not just telling you to drink sparkling mineral water, okay? The difference between sparkling water or seltzer or just carbonated water and sparkling mineral water is the minerals. So you're getting some added health benefits with the minerals in sparkling water. Here's what I want you to be careful of before I show you my additions here, okay? If this is all you drink is sparkling mineral water, even though there are minerals in there, just be mindful that the carbonation can tend to, um, there's some studies that have showed that it may eat away at the enamel over time of your teeth. So you just want to be careful about that. That carbonation and the harder the bite of the carbonation, the more powerful or potent it can be on your teeth. I love San Pellegrino. My other favorite, a newer favorite of mine is Topa Chico because it has a little bit more of a bite, which means it's also a little bit more carbonated. So just keep that in mind. If this is, I would say this is a great supplement to pure filtered water, not to completely replace it because we do need that pure filtered water. But this is such a wonderful alternative. So let me tell you what I add to mine, okay? And just a couple things that you can add to yours. So this one or whatever one you choose, um, I like to add 
So these, these water drops, you can see those. Sorry, the light's kind of bright. Okay, water drops by Sweet Leaf, okay? They have lots of different flavors of these. I have, I think I have a grape over there. This is just my family's favorite. So this is the one we stick with and it's strawberry kiwi and it's really good and a little goes a long way, okay? Pretty good ingredients. There's one or two that I'm like, man, I'm not gonna have a whole bunch of it, but for a little bitty squirt in there, every now and then, it's just, it's, it's a nice alternative. It's refreshing and it gives it a little bit of flavor. So that is one option, okay? Another option to add to your sparkling water because girls, let's face it, there is a lot of flavored water already out there and a lot of them are artificially flavored. You wanna stay away from additives, artificial flavors, artificial sweeteners, all of that. It's so easy to do your own. I mean, just by adding a little squirt or a drop or fruit. So another thing, you love those? Kathy, what do you love? Do you love the um, sparkling mineral water or these, the sweet leaf drops? I'm curious, which one? Tina said she loves green tea. Awesome. Okay, so another thing that you can add is some essential oils. Of course, make sure that they're okay to consume, but a drop or two of lemon is amazing in your sparkling water. Another thing you can do is add fruit. So actually infuse it with some fruit, some strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, cucumbers, not fruit, but cucumber would be good in there. Some, uh, some lemon slices, lime slices, so that kind of thing. So, so you can just, you can see the possibilities where you are in control of the ingredients and you're not buying something that's already sweetened for you, okay? So um, to recap, we had our apple cider vinegar detox drink. We made that up. And this is one that because of the cinnamon and I have ground ginger in here, because of that, it does settle. So this is one of those things. And I'm, I need one of these. Hey, if somebody has the, uh, the drops, Kathy, I gotcha. If somebody has a link or do you know where you can get the little tops with the straw hole? I, I, I haven't searched high and low, but I need that in my life. But that would be so excellent for this, right? You could just kind of do this and then drink it. Not that I drink out of straws, but I don't know. Screwing and unscrewing the cap. But anyway, this is awesome. So this was our ACV um, infused detox drink. And then we had our double green power drink. So if you're joining me late, make sure you go back and look at this because this is so great. Good, good stuff. And then lastly, we want to be in charge of what we put in our mineral water if we're drinking sparkling mineral sparkling water we want to make sure it's mineral water not just carbonated water not just seltzer um what's another word club soda those kinds of things they're different and you don't have the minerals contained in them that sparkling mineral water does okay so make sure that you are in control of the ingredients that you're putting in your body and in your water so anyway Hopefully that was helpful. I can't wait to go back and watch what some of the rest of you said. Hey, if you came in late and you didn't know, I wanted to know what was your favorite non-water beverage. Oh, look at all the hearts. I love all the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Um, Shiloh said, yes, I drink EO water every day. It's not a favorite, just something I have learned to enjoy. What is EO water, Shiloh? I don't know what that is. EO, does that stand for something? Um, good, Tina. I'm glad it was helpful. So yeah, y'all make these up. Keep them. You can batch these. Obviously, you can double or triple some of this stuff, especially the double green one. That would be amazing to make like two or three days of um, of that and just have it to sip on through, throughout, you know, a few days during the week. I wouldn't make up a ton ahead of time, but two or three days out would be amazing. Under Armour drinks. Okay, K Kayla, I have not heard of Under Armour drinks. I didn't even know they made Under Armour essential oil water. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Durr. Essential oil water. That makes sense. Okay, Shiloh, because I just got done talking about essential. I thought there was a different kind of water called EO, so so helpful. All right, well, ladies, I hope that was helpful for you, and let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff, any of the ingredients. Don't forget, if you are interested in the greens, uh, the green juice by Organifi, I do have a discount code up at the top um, in the description, and yeah, y'all are amazing. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you next week. Have a great rest of your day.